metaphor. It does. And the reason it operates by metaphor is exactly what you said earlier. Because it's which not is, made. Which is, no, you know what, you're not actually allowed to insert okay, my answers into my own sentences. Um, I mean, you can, but the reason that it operates by metaphor is precisely what you said before, which is you knew early on that if there was a God, that God was ineffable, that God was not to be understood by human beings. And therefore, if you were going to talk about that God, you had to speak about that God metaphorically, not literally. And so when you say sheep and then you make the metaphor literal, of course it sounds silly, as many metaphors do. But if you think of sheep as representing those who willingly follow the shepherd because the shepherd is going to protect them and make sure that they're all right and fend off those things about them that are dangerous and teach them how to stay together as a You think flock, that's why shepherds then, love the sheep? Then the point, again, you're literalizing the metaphor. The, meta the idea of the metaphor is to tell people that which the religion teaches as a value. It's not in order, it's not a literature class. It's not so that you can dissect it and understand what sheep really do and why, you know, why sheep is an inadequate idea for a human being to act. That, and, and I just wanna, I just wanna put a, a last spin on this. Uh, a good, theologian of any monotheistic tradition will say that the difference between God and a human being is infinitely greater than between a human being they understand Christopher Hitchens, right? You said that you have trouble even assumptions about God's incompetence with just a grain of salt because the, your claim to know the mind of God is just it? attributed it to well, me. Said, when did you, I claim to know the said, mind? You I said, you said God would prefer bed what? three to bed one. I don't know how you know this. I have no idea. I can't make this claim. I, I said the exact opposite. You must well, have Or prefer bed one to bed three. You, no, no, you no, had an no, idea no, of what one, God might three, want. One, three. No, I said that I did Either not Either way, you had an idea of what God might want. Your book mentions it all the time. You seem to have a knowledge that's denied to me, completely denied to me, and everyone else I know, of what the divine and ineffable... ...and say a one-year-old. No one-year-old could possibly... Of course, a claim where I can't follow you. I didn't say that. I don't know where when did, you... When did I claim... Hold it. might expect or want from us. But on, on there I can't follow you, there you can play a card that I cannot. You, but you do. You, you try. As, as someone who believes in God, I think God may know better. You, you play, a, you you play have, it over and over and over you again. Have you, say, you have a knowledge of the mind of right, God. Right, right. You but say, on oh, shepherds, on shepherds, no, I can, not only on on shepherds. shepherds <laughs> I can be clearer. Yes. Shepherds don't look after Definitely sheep because they love them, though I think some shepherds actually do love their sheep <laughs> too much. <laughs> shepherds look after their By sheep. By the way, God doesn't like that. They look, so, after, they look oh, after the sheep so that they, look after the sheep so that they can gotta, first fleece them and second turn them into meat. Now, uh, that's much more like the priesthood as I know it. Since I, I, I appeal to those who have heard you say again and again, if there is a God... The sexual element if, isn't absent from that either, actually. Well, that's that's okay. Since we are flocking around here. That's a, look, toleration is a religious Maybe virtue. Maybe someone should uh, there, ask a question. For wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. That's not fair. You can't get away by saying you don't I'm presume to, get to away. know... You don't presume to know the mind of God when you say again and again, if there is a God and he wants this, I don't like it. If there is a God and he wants that, that's not a God I would believe in. That kind of God doesn't make sense. That God would say, that, I mean, you use the same, tr the same trope, the same not idea, but from the other side. Not at all. Okay, mine, mine is conditional. Yeah. Mine is an if. If you say this is designed, some designer. If you say it's compassionately designed, some compassion. It's always if, it's conditional. I don't concede there's any such thing. Okay. You say, God would like this of us, we would hope this of him. You, where you're getting it from, I don't know. But it's yes, a claim where I cannot follow you. And I would like to ask you how it is that you do have an insight into what God wants. Well, I, I think we ought to denied give, to me. I think we ought to give the audience a chance. They've okay. been very patient listening. They have some, uh, some fascinating questions, the ones I can read. Um, first one I came to, but we're going to gloss over, says, is for you. It says, why are you such a contrarian? But we'll, we'll come back to that one later. Um, this, this I have no idea. Uh, this one is for both of you. It says, scientific research has shown that there may be a, quote, religious gene, that religion is hardwired into our genes. If so, what does that say for free will? Maybe we don't choose to have faith. Maybe it's just genetic. I'd like to expand that. Do you believe in free will? I think we have no choice. <laughs> but I'll tell you, no, wait, I'll wait, tell wait, you wait, something wait, I'm sure you, of. You cannot be wait. given free will. 
It is often said that God gives us free right. will. If it's given so to you, it's not free will where by does definition. It, where does it come from? Well, I believe that it, it involves the risk of saying that your own responsibility is, would, is what you face the consequences. No, what I'm asking life. is, if you're... You, there is no, there is no what invisible means of support. What I'm asking is, if you're born and you don't choose your genetics, and you're born into an environment that you do not choose, yeah. where does your free will come from if it doesn't come from something in beyond In a sense, ex, ex hypothesis, in a sense, out of that very suggestion. If you say, here it is, I was born into a world I didn't make, I've got to make the best of it I can, there is no supernatural dimension, there's no invisible means of support on which I can call, yeah. I'm, I'm alone with the cosmos and with my fellow creatures, that's free will. No, that's why free no, will is actually the ability religion, religion to is choose. A, religion is a flight from that. No, wait, 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 wait. Free that. will is the ability to choose, and what I'm asking is scientifically, no, it isn't the reason, not philosophically, it? how do you have the ability to choose if you're a, a, a collection of genetics and environment, neither of which you chose, which determine your behavior? Okay, there's a word that hasn't come up yet this evening, but I think has a place even in the house of worship perhaps especially a Jewish one, it begins with E, it's called evidence. We haven't, it's amazing the word hasn't been used yet, it's my fault too. What if it turns out to be the case, right, that evolution by natural selection and, and random mutation is a sufficient explanation for our presence here? What if that's true? All the evidence is, I mean all the evidence is, that it is true. The evidence against it is nil, nothing. There isn't any evidence against it. It's all been discredited. You say, well, isn't that rather a bleak feeling? Doesn't that just make us another primate mammalian species who may even, when we feel love, be undergoing a chemical reaction? You know, we, we know all these reductions. So, well, maybe, but first, is it true or not? Now, what you say is, I don't like the idea of it, so why don't I say that God's given me the choice to not believe it. Well, I, come on. I mean, give us a break. Do well, us a actually, favor. Actually, it's either true or it isn't. Let me clarify my question, because I actually didn't say whether I liked it or not. I asked you, where do you get your free will? And what you gave us a lovely from peroration on evolution. From the, accept, you didn't no, tell no, from the acceptance of my solitude. Uh, but how do sole you, responsibility. I can't refer my problems upward but you're not to a dictator. I can't. Question. You're not interested if You it's want genetic. me to give my free will away and to, uh, to give it away in prayer and to ask for a divine supervision no, I to wanna, replace my responsibility. I want to answer step one before we get to step two. Forget whether God exists or not or gives you free will or not. Let's say there is no God. Do you have free will? And if so, if it doesn't come from your genes and you don't choose your environment, then where do you get it from? You can't say you get it from your acceptance because your acceptance is also predetermined by your genes and your environment. So what I want to know is, do you say we don't have free will, or do you have some scientific hypothesis about the origin of free will that, that I'm unfamiliar with? The reason why I said we have no choice but to believe in it is that you suppose, try the thought experiment for yourself. We have no choice but to assume we have free will. We're for, the choice is forced upon us. Free will is compulsory because of the situation in which we find ourselves. Try the thought experiment the other way around. Suppose to yourself, suppose you can believe with Calvin, for example, mm -hmm. or actually with Laplace, who was a great physicist, yes. that everything that will ever happen to you, that you'll ever think or do or say, was decided for you before you were born. There's not, it, it, was all, it was all inscribed, it was all written, as, as many Islamic fatalists also say now. Suppose you actually believe that. What difference does it make to the decisions you have to make all the time? What difference does it make? I will leave my question It's like believing, you still have to act as okay. if, you still have to act as if you must make choices. Right. And that these choices are determined by morality and responsibility. And you'll just have to hope that what was inscribed for you, okay. astrologically before you were born, uh, favors the right choices. But the, it's in tautology. Interest, in the interest of time, because we promised you each uh, three minute uh, oh, good. final. Well, we could forego that perhaps. Well, for the sake it's, of the... It's not uh, like you haven't had a chance to uh, go at each right. other, so that's fine. Um, I'm beginning to feel a bit tongue-tied, I've got to say. This is for Rabbi Wolpe. You admit that r religion can lead indirectly to violence and evil. What would you do to help minimize religion's contribution to violence and evil? How would you deal with extremists in your own religion? I think one, one, one area where we agree is extremism in religion is very resistant.